guys, welcome to the Review Collective's first ever video. My name is Divya and I'm the community manager here at Trend Review and I'm also one of the writers for the Review Collective. A while back, I actually wrote a post on three ways you can keep fit at home during quarantine. One of the influences that I mentioned was Chloe Ting. You would have definitely heard of her famous two weeks abs challenge. That's what I'm going to be trying out today. I'm actually going to give that two weeks abs challenge a go because ever since quarantine started, I have been very lazy and I have been very unmotivated to work out. It's been so tough for everyone and I have not been working out for the past one month. So. I decided to give this two weeks challenge a go because I feel it's going to help me get into the just get into the momentum of working out again and I just feel it's a great way to start being fit. I'm excited. I'm scared but I'm excited. So this is what my stomach looks like on the first day of the challenge. So as you can see I don't have any definition and it's a little bit out of shape. Let's just start the challenge. I just did one set, I'm left with two more, and then there's another video, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Holy sh I didn't manage to finish Chloe Tang's day one workout, it was, oh my goodness, like I, this was not what I expected. We're starting out with no fitness background no core strength i think then it becomes a little hard i am pretty sure my form was off for some of those exercises that's bound to happen because i just haven't exercised for so long so it's normal if you've never worked out before and this is your first time doing it you most likely you won't be able to finish her day one workout and that is completely okay don't be too hard on yourself don't give up on the challenge i'm not going to give up even though oh my goodness like i just don't feel like doing this anymore what i liked about chloe tank's workout is that she had a low impact workout on the side of her video but yeah to be honest it was really really challenging i will see you guys tomorrow for the second day and i'm not looking forward to it but we will get through this together I think I was lying on the ground more than I was exercising. So today is day three and there's four videos. <laughs> I couldn't even get through two videos. How am I supposed to get through four videos?
so it is day 11 out of 14 for the challenge which means we're only three days away from finishing it and i'm super excited so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on how the workout has been so far and the first few days it was insanely challenging like i genuinely believed that i could not get through this because my stamina was just very low like even though her videos are only 10 minutes 12 minutes long they just seem so long when you're working out it's insane it's insane how 30 minutes can feel so long on the good side uh i also feel that it has be it has been much easier for me to get through the videos i don't feel as tired anymore i can feel my stamina getting better and i can also feel myself getting more used to the intensity and getting used to the pace so i think that's very rewarding to watch um you know just watch yourself getting more fit getting stronger and i really enjoy that feeling so if you guys are struggling i just suggest you guys to just stick with the workout you know do whatever you can even if you can't get through the videos it's completely all right just do whatever you can each and every day and you will just automatically find yourself getting stronger and getting used to the workout so just push through guys just push through And if you guys notice, there's actually not much of a difference. Um, I do feel my stomach looks just a tad bit firmer. But honestly, if you look from far, you can't even really tell the difference. So am I disappointed with the challenge? No. And here's why. Because you will never see any result by just doing something for only 14 days. You need to be consistent for a much longer period of time before you can even see a little bit of result. So do keep that in mind. I knew before starting this workout that by the end of the 14 days, I'm not going to see any abs. I'm not going to see much of a difference. And that's okay. It doesn't mean her workouts are useless. It doesn't mean this challenge is a waste of your time. So despite not seeing any physical difference, I did see a difference in a lot of other aspects. I saw a difference in my strength, I saw a difference in my health, I felt better, I felt more energized, I felt more refreshed and that is something that I want you guys to keep in mind before doing her workouts. Don't measure your result in just the physical difference because to see any changes in your physical body that is going to take a lot of time. But in 14 days like short term results you will definitely see an improvement in a lot of other aspects all those things which are also just as important if not i feel they're even more important than seeing physical changes in your body so i really hope you guys can give this challenge a go for yourself and start your fitness journey today and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye